Siloam is the primary body cavity, both side lined by mesoderm. It is the main cavity where important organs in our body like heart, lungs, kidneys, all are developed and resides in this portion of Siloam. Hello friends, welcome to Biology Concern. I am Animesh and in this video, I am going to discuss about Siloam. What is the Siloam? What is the types of Siloam and how Siloam forms? And uh, in the animal world, how many types of uh, animals are found in the base of Siloam? So, let's jump into the topic. First thing, uh, Siloam is, uh, I told you earlier that Siloam is a primary body cavity. So, it is uh, basically primary body cavity, both sides lined by mesoderm. So, if you observe the image in here, here um, three germ layers are present. That is ectoderm. So, this is the ectoderm, this is the mesoderm and this is the endoderm okay so ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm when mesoderm splits off and uh, lined one uh, split one portion lined with the uh, endoderm it is called splanchnic mesoderm and when mes uh, an other portion when attached with the ectoderm it is known as somatic mesoderm so mesoderm is finally splitted into two portion one is somatic mesoderm and one is planchnic mesoderm so do, those uh, mesoderms are actually and the gap between those planktonic mesoderm and somatic mesoderm are known as silom. So this portion, this portion is known as silom. So in between uh, splanchnic mesoderm and somatic mesoderm, the uh, gap or cavity between the splanchnic mesoderm and the somatic mesoderm is known as silom. So basically, all of the vital organs are reside in this or uh, developed in this portion of silom. Uh, okay. And uh, together, this endoderm along with planchnic um, uh, mesoderm is known as planchnopleury. So, is so it is a, it is a planchnopleury. So, it is planchnopleury, and along with ectoderm and with uh, somatic mesoderm, it is known as somatopleury. Okay, so somatopleury and planchnopleury. So, when, whenever splanchnic mesoderm attached with endoderm, it is known as planchnopleury. And whenever ectoderm is attached with somatic mesoderm, it is known as somatopleury. So, basically, true silom first appears in tenophorans. So, tenophorans is the uh, was first organism where true silom first appeared. That means the primary body cavity, uh, both sides lined by mesoderm, first appeared in, in case of tenophorans animals. So, what is the primary condition? Primary condition of uh, formation of coelom is that there is three germ layer must present that is endoderm, mesoderm and ectoderm. So, endoderm, mesoderm, ectoderm both three layers or three germ layers together make those particular coelom. So, and <coughs> if we observe the types of animals on the basis of coeloms, we found three different kinds of animals. One is known as acylomate. Second is known as pseudocilomate and third is known as silomate. So, what is acylomate, pseudocilomate and silomate? Where silom is completely absent, those animals are called as acylomate. So, there is no silom. So, in case of acylomate organs or acylomate animals, there is no silom. Okay. And uh, example of these uh, animals are the flat worms. And pseudocilomate, uh, mesoderms is attached uh, either with endoderm or with ectoderm. So, if we consider this is the ectoderm, and this is the endoderm. So, in this case, mesoderm is either attached with this side or in the second case, if this is the ectoderm and this is the endoderm, mesoderm is attached with this side. So, mesoderm is attached either one side just like uh, with the endoderm or with the ectoderm. So, one side is completely blank and there is no mesoderm present in one side. Those on animals are called as pseudocilomate animals and they are uh, examples of nematodes, okay, like Ascaris. And uh, third one is the silomate. What is silomate? Where silom is distinguishedly present, these animals are known as silomate animals. So, like mammals, like us, humans. So, in this case, silom is completely present. So, in the uh, formation of coelom, there is uh, two kinds of coeloms are present. Uh, one is cytocelus and second one is enterocelus. In case of cytocelus animals, uh, coelom is uh, the product of direct splitting of mesoderm. That means, in, in this case, this mesoderm directly split and one, uh, one portion is attached with the endoderm known as planchnic mesoderm and another product is attached with the uh, ectoderm and known as somatic mesoderm. So, 
somatic mesoderm and splanchnic mesoderm formed by direct splitting of the mesoderm and in this type of animals known as hyzocerus animals like annelida like mollusca like arthropoda so they are uh, product of hyzocerus animals and enterocerus in case of enterocerus animals first a pouch is produced so here you observe a pouch is firstly formed and in second step this is the endoderm this is the endoderm and this is the ectoderm so the pouch is enlarged and uh, cover up whole area and ultimately splitting off and producing somatic uh, mesoderm and uh, splanchnic mesoderm and by the splitting of uh, by forming a pouch and uh, again it split uh, in into mesoderm and produce a splanchnic mesoderm and somatic mesoderm and so in this case echinodermata and chordata are the product of sizocelus silum production so this is the uh, whole topic about the silum i think this video helpful for you to understand what is a silum what is the basis of silum and how uh, silum is formed that means a uh, sizocelus or enterocelus so uh, if you like that video please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching